So we've done a few fun things to our kernel so far. We've overclocked the GPU. We've added I.O. schedulers. We've added uh, um, governors. But another thing that we should uh, look at doing is how do we add a, uh, a hot plug? So a hot plug is determining whether a CPU should be on or off, turning them on and off uh, at uh, the needs or for the needs of the system. Uh, this helps you to save power and uh, do a few things like that. So uh, be more efficient, essentially. Uh, so how do you go about adding a hot plug? Well, the big thing is to find something that uh, works for your chip. You know, we have an MSM8937. So I dug around a little bit, and I see uh, uh, this uh, person here, DYWN. I want to give some credit to uh, this person for uh, committing this change to the uh, Xiaomi LAND device. And that uh, that's a good way to look at... Uh, how to add something to your own kernel is to find a similar kernel that has had a change uh, done to it. Uh, even if it's not exactly what you want to do, at least then you'll have a guideline to show you what you should work on. So to uh, to add this auto SMP hot plug uh, to our kernel, um, we of course need to download the hot plug itself. Auto SMP is the name of it. Um, and what you know what do what do hot plugs do? Um, well, it's really right here in the description of the hot plug. Uh, automatically hot plugs the multiple CPU cores on and off based on CPU load and suspend state. So just another uh, option for how to uh, how to control the cores of the CPU and to turn them on and off to uh, you know save some power. So uh, let's take a look here in our kernel. Uh, we jumped over to drivers, sock, QCOM. And uh, how do I know to go there? Well, of course, that's where this is, driver sock, QCOM, K config. Uh, but also, it's just generically, you know, drivers are going to be things like, you know, how to control block devices and, and cores and things like that. Uh, sock for system on a chip, QCOM for the type that we're using. So this kind of comes down to research. So your kernel may be different if you're using a MediaTek kernel or something like that. It may be in a different place, but generically speaking, this would be where I would find it for a Qualcomm type of phone. So we have this kconfig, and uh, in the kconfig, which I have open here, uh, in theirs, they added this option to the kconfig at the end. And the option is saying, hey, I'm going to give you the option, the menu option, to build the auto SMP. So you have a choice to build or not. It's going to depend on SMP and hot plug CPU. And it's going to be a default of no. We're not normally going to build it, but it is available if you want it. So let's go ahead and grab that. We'll copy it and we'll just paste it in right to the end here. So now we have this new option. We're going to save that. We're going to open the make file. So anytime you uh, add something to the kconfig, you're probably going to add something to the make file. kconfig gives you the option. Make file actually makes whatever option is chosen. So if we look again at the make file here, uh, we see that it's under this config msm lab. It looks kind of like it's at the end here, actually, of the uh, of the options. But uh, so you can always search to see if you have something similar, if you could put it in the same place. Uh, for instance, if we try finding lab, lab is not existent on ours, but we'll just put it here at the end. And the line here is just a object that needs to be built. So it's just an object of config auto SMP. If you chose yes for config auto SMP, go ahead and build the auto SMP dot O object. So we'll save that. I guess we can make it look kind of like the other ones here. Just have it spaced out. <clears throat> so we've saved that. And then of course we need to put the auto SMP dot C file that gets built into that .o file in the driver sock qcom folder. So I went ahead and downloaded it. And there it is. We'll copy that and we'll put it into our 
folder here. We'll go ahead and open up, take a look real quick. Uh, you know, so uh, it's based on the code MSM MD MP decision code by uh, Dennis Rasman, and then these other gentlemen or uh, ladies, depending, these other people did uh, some changes here. I think I think Ralph is a is a lady's name, but uh, uh, or a gentleman's name, excuse me. So we'll go with gentleman in this case. But uh, you know, uh, you got to be careful with uh, gender neutralizing everything. But anyway, so it's just saying it's checking the state of the CPU and it's checking the load that's on the CPU and deciding if it should turn off a different kernel core uh, to uh, do the work that needs to be done. So. Uh, of course, it would be important to make sure that you have these. So let's jump over to the include. And Linux. And so we need this module param. There it is. We need CPU frequency. We looked at that earlier, so we definitely know that's there. Work queue. Here we go. Work queue. There it is. Great. Uh, CPU H, we looked at that earlier with CPU frequency, so that we know is there. CPU mask, most likely there, but we're going to check it anyways. There's CPU mask. And HR timer. So it's really important uh, when you are adding something to a kernel to make sure you check that all of the includes are going to find the file they're looking for. So now this is a rather simple commit. Um, as you can see, even from this commit here, uh, we've edited the make file, we've edited the kconfig, we've added this uh, file itself. So the only thing that remains is editing the def default config. And you can see they just put it at the end of their file right there. So we would open up our arch arm64 configs. And in this case, we're using the Alaska Linux user def config. Now, if there is any hot plug options, I would say put it with the other hot plug um, options. So let's see. Hot plug CPU. So that might be a good one to place it in. Uh, hot plug on is not set. So maybe just up here with this hot plug CPU. We'll just put it right up here. All right, so we'll save that. And now we'll give it a build and see how that turns out. All right, so the build is complete. Let's uh, get that copied over and we will see how well it works. So of course, you know, in our out target product, Life 1x2, we grab the boot image. We're going to put it into this uh, make kernel zip that we downloaded earlier. Uh, if you do need this, be sure to check out my earlier videos from this series where I talk about how to make a flashable kernel zip for Team Win Recovery Project, and uh, this is really, really handy um, to have because we just type this zip. And then we can uh, move the uh, image or that zip file to be something else. Like in this case, uh, we'll call it um, blocks2 dash uh, auto SMP. All right. So I'll flash this to the phone. We'll get some uh, screenshots or something, a video maybe, and uh, see how well this works. All right, so flash that to the phone, and let's take a look at the uh, screen recording I made. See, there's a new option for CPU hot plug, and there we go. 
where you can take a look at the auto SMP, a lot of different settings that you can change. Uh, notice that it's developed by MRG666, so I do want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, definitely not something that I made. Just showing how you can add a hot plug to your cell phone uh, to have an effect, hopefully, on the cores to change You know how many cores are on or off, depending on system loads and needs. So hopefully that was uh, useful to you. Um, we're going to be looking at a lot more things to do with this kernel. Uh, in case you're wondering, we did the GPU overclock, and you're probably thinking that we should have gone into CPU overclock next. I've actually made four attempts now at uh, overclocking the CPU on this phone that uh, have ended, uh, let's say, poorly or uh, not as desired. So something I'm still working on for this particular phone, I do want to mention that it is something that we're going to go over hopefully eventually uh, once I get kind of the details ironed out for that. But also something to let you know if you're doing kernel development, it's not always smooth sailing. So be aware that sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, work, a little bit of tweaking to uh, get uh, things to work the way that you want them to. So hopefully uh, you found this useful, and uh, stay tuned for more videos.